So this is going to be a quick topic today. I want to throw something in that I end up using in a lot, a lot of places, and that's just some macros to help with linked list stuff in C. There are very few things where I uh, want something kind of generic that I can use on multiple types. Uh, you know, certain template functions would be a way of doing that in C++, for instance. Uh, but in a sort of a C style that doesn't use templates, uh, there's not a whole lot of ways you can do type generic stuff. Uh, macros are kind of the best thing you've got and they've got some limitations and are difficult to work with. So I usually avoid doing that kind of thing altogether, but for linked lists in particular, I like it. And the cool thing is macros with linked lists turn out better than even templates with linked lists because uh, it doesn't generate lots of dumb little functions or uh, do any complicated type checking stuff. It, it just uses a couple of name uh, member name tricks. And uh, I'm going to put it in there real quick, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. And uh, we're, we're going to test this a little bit because it's easy to find uh, or to have a bug in these. And it's a little annoying the first time I hit them. So trying to find them uh, a little bit will make me feel better. All right, let's do a little coding. Okay, so the basics of linked lists just worked. We were able to uh, print out a list that looks like it came out in the right order based on the order I put things in there. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick comment now about a couple of techniques I'm using to write these macros. So first of all, obviously writing macros is a little bit ugly. It's especially ugly if you're trying to do what I'm doing here, which is keep it as an expression. So I didn't use any ifs or whiles or fors or blocks or you know curly braces of any kind. I'm just sticking with the ternary operator for my conditionals and uh, you know parentheses and commas for listing together various expressions. Since in C and C++ you can have assignment as an expression, you can actually do work in this way. You can't do everything, but you can get linked lists done. And the reason I'm doing this rather than just writing a statement is, uh, I don't know, I, I, I can't necessarily say that one way is better than the other. It's just sometimes I'm in the mood to do it one way, sometimes I'm in the mood to do it the other way. And I don't spend too much time second guessing myself once I just start going a particular route. Uh, it, it, only, it might matter it, depending on who needs to read it, which one they're more comfortable having to read and what kind of uh, surprises you're willing to encounter later. But for the most part, I'm uh, not that concerned about which one I choose. So since I'm doing uh, ternaries to keep them a little more readable, uh, especially when they start getting longer and having like commas inside them to chain operations or n lists of multiple ternary operators nested together, I like to do this uh, thing where I put the question mark, you know, the, the if on the first line and then the result on the second line and then the, the failed result. So like the positive result goes to this one, negative result goes to this one after the conditional, right? So I, I spread it out like this. Um, you know, there's a couple other ways you could do it to make it readable, but cramming it all on one line, I don't, I don't, I don't like doing that. Another thing I have done is, uh, whenever I'm making these linked list things, I like to, uh, be extra careful to null out the node I pass in, because I just find that once in a while, if I don't do that, I'll eventually be surprised to find that I get right past the end of a list, and it's because I have a bad pointer sitting there that I didn't think that I needed to clear, and I did, so... I just pay the, pay the extra cost of nulling out those pointers, personal choice, I guess, but I think it makes life a little easier. And you're not usually writing linked lists when you need things to go as fast as possible. Uh, so I left this push front unimplemented and it's because it's kind of a reverse of this. And I wanted to show you a cool trick for how to make all of these a little bit more useful. So if you take a look at what I did, 
I use the next and previous members here to make the linked list work. So this, these macros only work for any type that has a next and previous pointer back to itself, right? You can't use this to make any kind of thing a linked list. It has to use these particular member names, but we can actually loosen things up and make that work uh, with any, make this work with any member names. And here's how I do it. So I just extended both of those macros that I had already implemented by saying that they take the next and prev names as parameters to the macro. And then I, you know, reintroduce the original named macros in such a way that now when you call the name, the, the originals without the NP suffix, you'll get their old result because they just passed next and prev in, but I actually made it so that I could use any member names now. So, uh, now what I can do to make push front super easy to implement is I can just reverse the order of the list by flipping around the first and last and the next and previous, like so. All right, so doing that actually revealed a bug, which as I said, I kind of expect to happen. I get bugs when I write linked list stuff a lot. So uh, we didn't get a bug until, or we didn't hit the bug until I tried to use the front trick, but the front trick revealed that I hadn't actually written the W linked list thing correctly. The front trick itself actually totally works though, right? So once you have your W linked list working correctly, if you treat the front and last in reverse order, so that the last is what the thing you say is first, and the first is the thing you say is last, and you flip the meaning of each pointer, so the prev pointer actually means next now, and the next pointer actually means prev now, well, it turns out the exact same logic that makes something go to the end of the list when applied to those reverse, the reverse version of the list, uh, but just put something on the front of the list uh, instead, right? So it's kind of a neat way to uh, do it, I think. Um, if it wasn't clear what the bug was there, it's just I was, uh, I had a couple of spots where I didn't set up the, the, the node when you're inserting a node, you got to be sure to give its pointers the correct values, and I hadn't done that correctly. Okay, so that's doubly linked lists, and I didn't do every last doubly linked list feature I can think of, uh, but I did the ones that we need to get started. The ones I didn't do are, you know, it could be useful to have two linked lists and join them together into a single list. Uh, it could also be useful to have something that removes just from the front or back without having to do the extra ifs if you want to, uh, you know, tighten things up a little bit here and there. But these are, these will get me going on most things I need. And if the time comes that I find myself writing a couple of bigger joins or something, then we'll come back and improve this more. But I think this is good. So let's, uh, let's do the single link list queue. <laughs> All right, so that was quick and painless. Let's do the next prev trick again. Uh, in this case, it's not really a next prev trick since there's no prev, but I can still do the same concept with the next pointer at least. And uh, turns out if I want to, I can also write a way to push onto the end of this kind of queue. Because of the way I'm storing it, I have a first and last pointer because I need the last for pushing onto the end but I have a first that I could use to push onto the front still. Um, so let's just throw that in there in case we're going to want it. Unfortunately, the next prev flipping trick that I did for 
push front before won't work on the queue because it's uh it's not implemented in such a way that it is reversible you know it doesn't it doesn't treat each direction as symmetric the way the other the way the double link list does so i have to manually implement the uh the push on to the back of the queue Okay, so that confirms we can push the last node, the ninth node, onto the front of the list. And uh, we also have seen that pop is working, which is good to know. So last one is to do another singly linked list, but this time stack style. The reason I do these as separate, uh, you know, the reason I don't just make a singly linked list helper and try to make it work for both is because I want my singly linked lists to have a single pointer structure and my my singly linked list stacks i mean to have a single pointer structure and my singly linked list queues have a first and a last right so they have a different base structure so the parameters have to be different to the macros so uh, let me show you what that looks like and then we'll be done mm -hmm. 